गोवा से आप अध्यक्ष अमित पालेकर ने तिहाड़ जेल से आप नेता मनीष सिसोदिया की रिहाई पर कहा कि मैं केवल इतना कह सकता हूं कि आखिरकार सत्य की जीत हुई न्याय की जीत हुई सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ईडी और सीबीआई को कड़ी फटकार लगाई है जो उन्हें एक निश्चित समय से अधिक हिरासत में रखने के लिए हर संभव प्रयास कर रहे थे only thing that i can say is uh, finally truth prevails justice prevails what the supreme court has uh, lived up to the expectations of people supreme court has come down uh, heavily on uh, enforcement director and cbi which are making all efforts to keep him in custody beyond uh, a particular time it's nearly about uh, 17 months that he has been in custody and uh, in a pre trial so you know it is very rare to hear that in a pre trial custody uh, the being opposed the bails are being opposed by the by the ed and cbi they tried all their tricks whatever that they could do possibly they could achieve to to keep him in custody probably with an intention that the elections are coming close uh, close by in delhi but i think supreme court has now come to a conclusion that this is these are political arrest supreme court has come down heavily on the authorities on the on the enforcement directorate as well as on cbi and supreme court has also very categorically said and laid down law as far as this is concerned that bail is is a rule and jail is not a rule and and in fact has opined and observed that the trial courts and high courts are not living up to the expectation to this rule which is which is uh, what is expected from the from the uh, uh, lower courts more particularly the high courts or or uh, or the trial courts and uh, it's unfortunate that uh, being a lawyer i can opine and i can say that uh, uh, there are judgments which have been laid, laid down from the time of 1989 from the year 1989 and which have been classic judgments but of late uh, using the tool of enforcement directorate and using the tool of M uh, money laundering act uh, a lot of uh, political arrests are made and they are kept in jail and uh, mostly if you see money laundering act the the uh, the act is applied only in political cases and not particularly in actual cases which don't end uh, meet the ends of justice so and we have also seen when the trials have commenced when the trials have concluded that there is no conviction at all in money laundering cases so i think uh, supreme court is now living up to expectations of people and the faith in judiciary is being achieved the this bail confirms this particular faith of all the people